All right. Hey, welcome back. Um, I just got back from a trip to BC and I'll be editing those videos this afternoon. Um, but something that's been kind of on my mind, I've kind of been talking about it and talking to a lot of people about it, is why I never went to college and just like what's been up with me since high school. And I want to do this because when I turned 18, I felt like I'm an adult, <laughs> like maybe because I'm the youngest in my family or because I'm a twin or I don't know, I just felt like the freedom was finally there and I could break free and do whatever I wanted to do. So when I was 18, I moved to Europe and I became an au pair and I lived with a family and just like lived, I had no money. I lived off of the money they paid me, which was maybe 300 euros a month. It was not a lot of money by any means, but I really wanted to do it. So <laughs> leading up to my trip, I basically broke up with my boyfriend, uh, Ben, we're back together now. Basically booked my trip and like organized everything and then told my parents, I was like, okay, so I'm leaving for a year. <laughs> I hope you're okay with it. So that was kind of a shocker for them, but I just, I knew from a young age, I can make this whatever I want it to be, this life. There were a lot of things where I was like, I need to rewrite these rules. I moved to Europe, came home, smack back to reality, <laughs> and I spent the summer uh, part-time working at McDonald's, which is where I worked through high school, and then I got a, a job as a receptionist at a law firm in town. And let me tell you, I have never been more miserable in my life. <laughs> I hated that. It like totally wrote off. Pretty much anybody we interacted with there I was like, oh my god, you're all miserable. That was just not for me. I remember going to Old Navy and just buying like the ugliest clothes and I'd walk into work and people would be like, I love that blouse and I'd be like, fuck you. <laughs> Shelly. No, I liked Shelly a lot, but I felt in my soul each compliment. I was like, Good. It's the least thing like me. Ah, uh, they hate this. Ah, uh, they loved who I was pretending to be, and I just like resented it even more for that. So, not saying like law firms are evil, but <laughs> it was like, ugh. Not my vibe, but it was like making everybody so proud. They're like, wow, she's been a year in Europe and now she's working in a law firm? Like A plus B, she's living her best life. Like she's gonna be okay. She's gonna go to school. She's gonna get some business degree. Boopity boop, boop, boop. Looks good on your resume. Uh, psych, sorry, not my thing <laughs> at all. So yeah, that was the law firm. Um, that's when I found the roastery and Shelby and I were just kind of hanging out one night and scrolling through Twitter, and Las Chicas del Cafe was hiring, and I was like, sick, I'm trying to get out of this law firm, here's a job opening, like, I probably wouldn't have cared what it was, I would have just taken it, <laughs> um, and my friend Celeste, I've seen her in a few of these videos, or at least one of the videos, it's her mom, it's her family's business, so her mom and her aunt, um, they built a business together, uh, a coffee roastery. Her grandfather is a coffee farmer, so it's all about coffee in this family. I had to kind of ask her, I think I want to work with your mom. Do you mind? <laughs> she was like, yeah, do it. It'll be so fun. So luckily that's never gotten in the way of our friendship. We we're always like, thank God we can manage this and keep things separate. Um, but that job at the roastery truly, like I walked into the roastery door, I thought it was a barista job, like I didn't really know what it was. But I remember walking in and being like, it smells so good. <laughs> Just thinking like, I will never leave. And I met Maria and we sat down and like we instantly got along. Maria and Val are both amazing. So all in all, like that fell into my lap. Like the moment I was feeling the most unsure, I was getting anxiety for the first time in my life. Everybody else is going on to like their second year of school or maybe their first year sucks so they're switching programs. Nonetheless, they've got a path. And I was like in this moment where I'm like, oh my God, I'm turning 20 and I don't know what I'm doing. Like this is not a good start. So 
that kind of sucked. That was a scary time. But you know, once I kind of leaned into coffee, so many doors opened. You know, it took a long time, I'll be honest, to be confident in what I do. I think that surprises people a lot, but Everybody assumes I'm a barista and I'm not. Explaining what I do, like just taking the time to explain it all. I don't know, I just felt stupid at the beginning. I just felt like, yeah, you don't even know what I do. Yeah, we won't talk about it. I'm not doing as great as you. I really, it took me a long time to build confidence, which is so funny because everybody looks, you know, if they see my Instagram or if they follow along with my podcast, they kind of assume like, I don't know, you've always had it all together. Or people would message me being like, oh, I'm studying right now. I feel like a piece of sh and you're living your best life and I was like really wow the grass is always always greener because it did not feel good for a long time like I loved my job but it was crazy nothing was stable I was so uncertain of every single step meanwhile people are DMing me like okay tell me about what it was like to be an au pair tell me how to sign up I'm so sorry you're back home in St. Thomas I see that I feel for you and I'm like wait don't feel sorry for me <laughs> so there was a weird battle where I just didn't know how to stand up for myself and I feel like if I can feel that then everyone can feel that because I don't often carry a lot of shame about things so I know that if I carry that much shame around doing something different I can only imagine how somebody would feel who has like not as strong of a support group that I do doesn't have a twin sister hyping her up every minute of the day like there are so many things rooting for me that make it easy for me to put myself out there I know some people don't and a lot of people reach out to me for solace in that and I and and I want you to know that I'm here for you I know at the end of the day I'm like happy I'm really happy and I know a lot of people don't get to say that and I have so much gratitude around being able to say that because I know what it's like to not feel happy after high school me and Ben were two people who like didn't have our shit together at all. Like Ben worked in a chemical warehouse for like three years before he went back to school to build planes. Now he's an aircraft structural engineer. <laughs> I'm so proud of him. You know, everything I'm doing with my food photography and you know, my mom's bakery and the coffee roastery and doing work with barista stuff. Like I've got a lot going on, but you know, everybody's talking to us and they're like, how did you guys do it? Like, you guys have the coolest stuff going on. And it's like, wow, that was not the reaction four years ago. <laughs> like, we were the ones people were like, well, at least I'm not them. <laughs> so, I don't know, trust the process. I don't really know where I'm going with this anymore, but I just want to let you know that any path is okay. Like, whatever, don't take life too seriously. Let's just rock it out together because Everybody I know that is putting themselves out there, you know, inspiring us. It's so easy to hate people for like doing cool things, but at the end of the day, it's because damn, I think I could do that better than they can. So do it. Don't hate them for it. Join them. I just want people to join me <laughs> and be brave and courageous and just like love each other for the effort instead of like ripping each other apart. Like people literally told me, your photography kind of sucks. Like, I don't know who told you that you can run social media pages. <laughs> I've been told anything. Anything you want to throw at me, it's probably been thrown at me, so. I'm making this channel because I want people to join me. I want us to go through this together. <laughs> so anyways, I totally got carried away with this. <sighs> Let me know. <laughs> If you took anything away from this, please DM me if any of this spoke to you. And subscribe if you'd like. <laughs> my friends keep telling me to say that. Subscribe to my channel. Um, but yeah, I'm just having fun with it, guys. I want you to have fun with it. Let's just have fun together. It all pays off. Okay. Oh my god, nine minutes. Ah, I'm sorry for wasting your time. I love you. Uh, okay, bye. <laughs> this is getting chaotic. I'm sorry.